Hi friends, today we will see about shock emergencies. Shock, what is shock in medicine? That is when the cells have become hypoxic as a result of decreased perfusion. And there are four categories or causes of shock that are hypovolemic, cardiogenic, distributive and obstructive. Let's see in details. The first one is hypovolemic. When we lose more than 20% of fluid volume from the body, it is occurring. The conditions like uh, massive bleeding, hemothorax, fractures, DM insipidus, burns, ascites, excessive diuretic use, and massive diarrhea and vomiting can cause this uh, hypovolemic shock. The second, cardiogenic shock. In this situation, the heart cannot pump well. The conditions like myocardial infarction, cardiac myopathy, uh, arrhythmias, cardiac conduction, and uh, heart valvular diseases can cause this uh, cardiogenic shock. The third one is distributive, the abnormal distribution of blood in the blood vessels. It is also known as uh, vasodilatory shock. The conditions like sepsis, anaphylaxis, spinal cord injuries, uh, drug overdose, and anoxia can cause this situation. The fourth one is obstructive, the physical obstruction for the great vessels or the heart itself. The conditions like tension pneumothorax, cardiac tamponite, uh, vena cava thrombus, pulmonary thromb thrombus, uh, intracardiac clot and uh, valvular diseases, gravid uterus can cause this situation. The shock involves ineffective tissue perfusion and circulatory failure. The shock syndrome is a pathway involving a variety of pathology process that may be categorized by four stages. Initial, pro compensatory, progressive and refractory. Let's see that. In the progressive stage, the compensatory mechanism begins to fail to meet the body's metabolic needs and the shock cycle is perpetuated. And in the refractory stage, the shock becomes unresponsive to the therapy or treatment and considered irreversible. Next, we will see some signs and symptoms of shock. Rapid shallow breathing, weakness, cold and clammy skin, rapid and weak pulse, dizziness or fainting. And depending on the types of shock, it may include anxiety, agitation, seizures, confusion, unresponsiveness, oliguria or anuria, sweating and chest pain. Then the assessment. The patient needs to assess, like uh, take proper history, uh, assess the skin, neurological status, vital signs, uh, intake output, labs and radiological studies. Finally, the treatment. The treatment of the shock is depends on the cause. The test and the investigation can determine the cause and the CPRT. Usually uh, with IV fluids in addition to the inotropes to maintain good BP. Septic shock is treated with uh, uh, antibiotics and IV fluids. Anaphylaxis is treated with uh, epinephrine, antihistamines and steroids. Cardiogenic shock is treated by identifying and treating the underlying cause. Hypovolemic shock is treated with uh, uh, replacing the fluid volume, either by blood or IV fluid. Neurogenic shock, it is the most difficult to treat, as the spinal cord damage is more often irreversible. We can do immobilization and administer uh, anti-inflammatories. Surgery is the best option for them. So, the shock is often fatal. Immediate recognition and management is critical to save life. I hope you enjoy my class. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.